Algebra 1. This is going to be a low budget video. It's Sunday morning, so I apologize for the motion because this is a handheld video. No props. I'm going to teach you as quickly as I can because this is a review lesson how to prime factor integers as well as find the greatest common factor of monomials. So prime factoring integers, believe it or not, we've done this before. So this shouldn't take too long to do. So we're going to use as an example, we're going to prime factor 150. So look over here to this table, excuse me for the motion. Looking over here, we'll see that 150 is in this little doghouse setup. Remember I told you if you were going to compare this to dating, you would not want to start with something bigger than what you're capable of handling. So when we start off prime factoring even integers, we're going to always start by dividing by 2, the smallest prime number, which is also the only even prime number. So doing so, we let 2 divide 150, and it goes 75 times. 2 will no longer divide 75, but if we add 7 and 5, we get 12, which is divisible by 3. So we divide 75 by 3. 3 divides 75 25 times. 3 will not divide 25 evenly, so now we move up to the next prime. And 25 is divisible by 5. 5 divides 25 5 times. When the top end number is prime itself, we have completed the prime factorization process. We take these numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 5, and we conclude that the prime factorization of 150 is equal to 2 times 3 times 5 squared. 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 is equivalent to 2 times 3 times 5 squared. And that problem is complete. Now we'll prime factor the number 231. Doing the same kind of thing. We notice here that 231, let me get back on the camera, 231 is not even. However, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So 3 divides 6, so 3 will divide 231. 3 divides 23 7 times. There's the 7. 3 times 7 is 21. If we think about subtracting 21 here, the difference is another 21. So 3 divides that 21 by 7. So if you check it, 3 times 70 is 210. 3 times 7 is 21. If you add 210 to 21, you do get 231. So 3 divides 231 77 times. Well, 7 plus 7 is 14, so 3 is not going to work here. But we can clearly see the 7's involved. 7 is the next prime divisor that we're going to use, because 5 won't work. 7 divides 77 11 times. So here's our conclusion here. 231 is equal to 3 times 7 times 11. 3 times 7 times 11. And now we're going to combine our prime factorization technique of integers along with looking variable, looking at variable factors that are also factors of monomials. So the second part to this lesson is to find the greatest common factor of monomials. So we're going to find the greatest common factor of 14a squared b squared and 18ab and 2a to the third b to the third. We begin by prime factoring the coefficients 14 and 18. We don't need to worry about the 2 because 2 is a prime number, and so it's already prime factored. 14 is even. It's divisible by 2. 2 divides 14 7 times, so 14 prime factored is 2 times 7. 18 is even. It's divisible by 2. 2 divides 18 9 times. 3 divides 9 3 times. So 18 prime factored is 2 times 3 squared. 
notice that all three of the monomials contain powers of AB, A squared B squared, AB itself, and A cubed B cubed. All three monomials contain powers of AB. So we take the greatest common factor by finding, first of all, the greatest common factor of the two coefficients along with, of course, 2 itself. So there's three coefficients we consider, 2, 18, and 14. 2 is clearly a factor of itself. 2 is a factor of 18. 2 is a factor of 14. 2 is the only common factor of these three, and therefore it's the greatest common factor. So we must include the 2 as part of the greatest common factor of these three monomials. Then we choose the common variables so if either one of these three had not contained an A or a B, then the GCF would not include an A or a B. It has to be common. Then to be the greatest common, it can't be too large because while A squared B squared is a factor of itself, it is not a factor of AB. While A cubed B cubed is a factor of itself, it's not a factor of A squared B squared or AB. However, a is a factor of itself, it's a factor of A squared, it's a factor of A cubed. B is a factor of itself, a factor of B squared, and a factor of B cubed. So AB is the greatest common factor of these three monomials. Putting it together, the greatest common factor contains the common factor of the integers as well as the greatest common factor of the variables. Putting it together, the greatest common factor for this example is 2AB. All right, go to Gradebook Wizard, get your assignment, and I believe it'll be due on Monday, May 4th. Talk to you in Zoom.